Now, KSBW Weather with meteorologist Ferdinand Holum. Welcome back, everybody, and a good Sunday morning to you. A recap of national weather. Last 24 hours, five reports of tornadoes. Those are the red dots in Indiana. Also, a lot of hail damage, 32 reports of hail damage. Those are the green dots, mostly in through uh, west or eastern Texas. A few reports of hail damage up in through uh, Kentucky, up in that area there. Uh, golf ball sized hail, half dollar sized hail, a lot of reports of quarter sized hail. Again, once again, those are the green dots and the blue dots, all because of a wind damage. So maybe some straight line winds in there, thunderstorm winds. It's all part of this huge system, area of low pressure. The center of it's right here. There's your front with it all the way down, and then it's draped down around the south. This is more of a state front down here. So the area for severe thunderstorms today will mainly be down and through this area. And here's another one right there. See that? We'll watch it blow up here in just one more second right along the Rio Grande. This area here is probably the best chances in that storm right here for severe weather as we go through the afternoon hours and then out west. Of course, a ridge of high pressure, a few little uh, pop up showers in through the intermountain west temperatures. Seattle 78 degrees, Boise 75, cooler onto the plain 67 Bismarck, St. Louis 70, cooler in New York 67, warm in New Orleans 86 degrees. <laughs> Here's our shot. Here's this is our weather. Sky Cam 8 Monterey high atop the embassy suites. Yes. A pea soup out there. There's Highway 1 somewhere in this area here. Again, if you're driving, go slow. Give yourself plenty of room in front of uh, the people or behind the people in front of you, that type of thing. Here's another view of the fog all around the bay. And it's pretty much confined to right along the immediate coastline, as we could just see from that shot there. High pressure in control. Uh, so two things happening. We've got the high pressure, which means inland or on land, we're going to see warm to hot temperatures and a lot of sunshine. High pressure kind of squashes down the marine layer, sits on top of it, squeezes it down. So at the coast, we've got the marine layer in play. By uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, area of low pressure starts to drop down. That's going to cool our temperatures into Thursday. And then as we get toward a Friday, we'll start to warm things back up again, but not as hot as it was or is this weekend. 70s in Southern California, whole Central Valley, 99 all the way to Redding, 96 degrees. So definite heat in through the Central Valley, even warmer than Vegas, Vegas 95. Palm Springs coming in at 106, 60s up on the north coast. 84 for Ben Lohman this afternoon, 76 Salinas, Monterey 65, and then in our valleys. 85 San Jose, Gilroy 90, some mid 90s down to King City. So if you're sensitive to the heat, head to the coast. Monday, a little bit cooler. Tuesday, even cooler. Going into Wednesday, and then Thursday will be the coolest day of the week. And then a little bit warmer as we go Friday, Saturday and into next week. And marine layer will be in play all week long. Highs for our inland valley locations. Definite heat here for the next couple days. A little bit cooler Tuesday. And then we cool it all the way down to Thursday and Friday. And then next week and looks pretty darn nice as well. And we'll probably see some of those marine layer clouds start to develop into our valleys, pretty deep into our valleys by Wednesday or so. Good timing too because parks are opening up. Yep. You know, the beaches are open. And, and plenty of hiking to do and all that kind of good stuff out here. So. All right. Thank you, Bert. Sure.